All right, guys, Kettleboy32 here. Check it out. Sitting out here on the range, and I've got this guy right here. This is the Elite build. This is probably going to be the build that I use to uh, shoot the uh, uh, EMR or the uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge. And I've got this thing topped off with the uh, primary arms uh, 6 and 30. That was my imitation, Im imitation of Mr. Aaron. All right, so cool thing about this rifle is it is very, very accurate. Um, I mean, it's stupid accurate. Let's see here, and I'm shooting with the uh, 77 grain. Let's see, let me go ahead and... And uh, you know what, let's just go on out there to the five. Let's pop it out there at 500, because I got this piece of steel. Um, we just followed up with a, uh, a little deal. There we go. Uh, I swear to God, I thought I hit that thing. Anyway, I was uh, sitting here, and I've had this guy with me for quite a while. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is called a Cali Key. And the Cali Key is basically a detachable charging handle. This is the Gen 2 version of it. And what you do is you can either take your bolt or the Cali Key bolt, and you can change out the gas key. And what it essentially does is it turns it into a... Uh, a bolt action rifle. So say for instance you are in California or you're in Pennsylvania you want to go deer hunt check your local laws make sure it's all applicable and you can actually put this guy in here and it turns your gas gun into a bolt gun just by doing that. Now a lot of you guys be sitting there and go well all you gotta do is turn your gas thing down well yes but you still this is a physical way of doing that so every time you shoot you got to pull it out with this big oversized uh charging handle it's really cool what we do let's go ahead let's see 300 where's my 300 yard target i'm trying to find a deer out there at 300 there we go. Let's see here. Eh, let's uh, try 400. But watch. That's what you got to do to make it run. Okay? Okay. And I'll be doing some more videos on this guy here in just a little bit. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, man. This thing is pretty nice. Let's go back up here. Where are you at, Mr. Five? Let's do that one more time. Do -do -do. Oh, this gun. This thing is sick. You know what's funny is I started shooting this thing. I got to redo the scope because I forgot to level it. I just eyeballed it. Mm -hmm. I'm just having fun now. Yeah, but Cali Key. I'll put the uh, link down below. Let's keep ringing that thing. We got her dialed in now, don't we, boys? Ooh. I'm just having fun. So when I've had these things for a long time now and uh, done some serious testing with them just to see um, if there was a change in uh, velocity, uh, an increase in accuracy. I did experience a slight increase in accuracy and that's proven. This thing's got a proof-free search, one and eight twist barrel on it. But if that's minute of deer, according to uh, <laughs> Uncle Dan, yeah. 
So here it is, man. Let's go ahead and I'll give you guys a uh, close-up look of it. And, it, and it, it is really nice to have something that you, uh, if you're in a state where uh, they will allow something like this, this turns your rifle into something incredible. Let's take a little quick look at it. Here we go. All right, guys, we're back here at the shop. This is the actual bolt system that we were using. Now, as you can see, there's the charging handle right there, or the, well, let's say a bolt. <laughs> but you have a nice ambidextrous that's knurled here and here, but that gives you the ability to bring this back and charge it every time. Now, how does that work? You see this little uh, gas key adapter right here? Basically, let's go ahead and take that off. The cool thing, this is free floating. So they found out that if this is free floating, get a, no binding when you're trying to pull it back. All right, so what happens is this is the uh, part that replaces your uh, original gas key, or you can buy it as a full kit. We'll go over the pricing on those here in a few seconds. All right, so what happens is this bad boy right here replaces your gas key. Gases come back in a gas tube and are diverted out the side as opposed to driving this thing back, which means that this guy stays put. The locking lugs stay into the chamber. Uh, what does that do? Well, one would think that it would increase your accuracy. Now, I've done a lot of extensive testing. I'm talking about probably a thousand rounds. Kind of helped the owner out in developing a uh, synopsis uh, theory. Does this thing really work? Um, yes. As a matter of fact, I did see an increase in accuracy. How much? It was minimal, but it was a recordable accuracy increase. I have been sent photos where people saw a half MOA increase with this thing. Uh, I hate this saying, your mileage may vary. I can't stand that saying. Uh, but anyway, that's the, uh, the, the, the unique thing about this guy is that it gives you the ability to turn your semi-automatic rifle into a bolt action without having to turn the gas block off, uh, turn the gas block to the side, covering up the gas port. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You buy this thing and then you move along. Now it is available in like two different ways. You can buy this right here and install the gas key adapter right there by replacing your existing gas key on a bolt that you may have laying around. Uh, this guy right here for the a, uh, AR-15 is $97.95. Uh, $97 <laughs> All right, but you can buy it complete with the bolt for $182. Now, another nice thing is, is they do make it for the large frame AR-15s. So next week, you're going to see me. I'm going to bring the Creedzilla out. This is an example of one of their bolts right here. You can see that that uh, gas key adapter is not installed. But anyway, uh, there's the gas. There's the whole system for the large frame. They are MPI. The bolts are MPI. And I I can say that I have tested this thing out to the nth degree. Uh, I've never had any kind of failure out of it. What kind of failure are you going to have? Uh, none. Well, guys, that's it. Um, would I recommend this? Yeah, for certain applications, I certainly would. If you're out deer hunting uh, and you want to adhere to the law, you got like a three or five round capacity, go put a block in your magazine, and there you go. I always check with the local laws, though. Make sure this is something that they approve of. Uh, but with that being said, guys, the Cali Key, CaliKey.com. Uh, put the link down below. I don't think I'm going to get in trouble for that. They don't sell guns. Of course, you know YouTube the way they are these days. So you can buy them in two different ways. You can buy them just like this. Uh, the AR-15 is $97.95. The AR-10 is $107.95. The kit, the bundle, is $182 for this guy. And then the AR-10 is $242. Good quality machining as well. Let's go to Boy32. Guys, if you like this video, this is probably one of the videos that I've worked harder on than most simply because there was a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes. Uh, like I said, I've been working with these guys, testing these things out, uh, and making sure, one, what they say is true. But anyway, with that being said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Good boy, 32. I am out. Y'all be good.